After two years of intense negotiations, a two-hour flight from Tehran to Doha has brought an end to an ordeal for five imprisoned Americans. The second year of those negotiations saw Qatari mediators shuttling between hotels in Doha. At no point did the American and Iranian parties meet face to face. The freed prisoners include US-Iranian dual national Siam Namazi and Imad Sharki, as well as environmentalist Murad Tabaz. They had been accused of spying and held for several years in Tehran. They were released as part of a prisoner swap deal that included five Iranians also released from US custody. The deal was carefully orchestrated and began with $6 billion of funds of frozen Iranian oil money initially seized in South Korea being sent to Switzerland and then to Doha. The Iranian Foreign Ministry confirmed that transaction. In the framework of our active foreign policy, we have unlocked our frozen assets in South Korea. Today, God willing, these funds will be in the hands of our government and people, and this government will spend it accordingly to the needs of the people. It was a short walk from that plane to the terminal building, but it's not quite over for them yet. So they've been met by a Qatari delegation. The prisoners have been met now by the US Embassy and members of the State Department. They'll want to get them to the United States as quickly as possible, where they'll be given a medical evaluation and a security debriefing. The former Qatari ambassador to the UN said that this was a good deal for all. It was the trust to the two parties of the uh, uh, good offices of Qatar that led to such uh, ending. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, for the past two, two years, we've been observing Qatari officials moving back and forth between Tehran and Washington, D.C. And uh, uh, such outcome uh, is good for uh, both countries, especially the people who are uh, you know, happen to be a prisoner and their families. And it's also good for our region because the more we solve a problem or a problem solved around us, the more uh, our region become more stable. There was a visible sense of relief as the freed prisoners boarded the flight out of Tehran on Monday. For Qatar, this has been a successful outcome to a very difficult negotiation process. But this is far from over for the Iranians and Americans who remain at odds over several issues including Iran's nuclear energy program. An issue such as that will require both sides to sit down and talk face to face.